Hi folks. Well, the fever got the best of me today. I uh, I didn't get on with this loose. I'll get on with that. That'll be done next weekend. I'll be glassing that. I'll probably do waxing down here and cut the black sheet out to fit it down here. But I'll wax. Uh, I'll fiberglass it next week. I'd like to check a channel out, Mr. Daz P. One. I'll put a link. In the description below to his channel he's just started uh, gold panning and prospecting uh, he's in Lancashire he's got a secret river too and he's finding some stuff but he's not sure so I'll put a link and all you guys who are prospecting and have got some experience uh, drop a line in and tell tell him what you think you might be able to give him some advice um, but the river yes I think I found the new secret river it's uh, 10 minutes away again and uh, from test pans I did today, I mean, I spent about three or four hours in woods and I spent half an hour in this river and every pan I got gold, apart from the last one, which was a very deep hole, which was full of leaves. I didn't get to the bottom of it. I got busted by some walkers, but, <laughs> but I'm sure there'll be a little private place I can dig. But my plan is from what tests I can have took, it's it goes like that, this river. It's probably, I don't know, it, it, it's a stream. It's, it's about a meter wide but from what tests I did where I took the tests I can just dig bank to bank and I'll get gold but I won't keep going on I'll get on with it don't forget it is nice to be nice so move further down again further round according to form Google Maps says there's a a well marked stream over there I'm gonna find it I've got my weathers on this time before I didn't I've got me shovel and stuff with me let's go and have a look see if we can find some if nothing else I've had a nice walk in the woods so guys found it just bushwhacked through there and crossed the forestry road just up there and there's another forestry road here now these aren't marked on maps forestry roads but it would have been less of a walk but then again I wouldn't have found that birch so it was worth it I know where there's a birch spot in fact there's a nice spot up there looks quite secluded might do that winter camp up there if uh, I get round to that so guys this could be interesting river or stream two pieces first pan so that's good um, I don't it's obviously going to get wider down there and there's some drops I don't know how it goes off there unfortunate thing it's forestry paths here so everybody walking a dog will be asking what you're doing but I could get sluice running here I think I'm sure, well I'm sure it will I know I could sluice will run further up there it might wander away from path and further down there it might but I doubt it I'm gonna do a couple more pans see what it's like what I'll do is I've just took one out of there but looking how that goes the gold could be running along that side it could have also crossed over and run down that side so that might be two that might be more it might be nil but always worth trying so second pan from that side Two more pieces. A little bit bigger than the first time. A lot bigger, but a little bit bigger. I wonder if I can get these to float. Gaz, if you're watching mate, just pull it back like that, get water off them. Because gold's agoraphobic. Now if that's stuff what you're finding in, in Lancashire, in your secret river, will float away. And these don't want to float now. Let it dry out a bit. But if you let it dry long enough, just don't pan. And it will float. It's not going to do it now, is it? Bloody stuff. So there you go, look. Floating. It'll get up on surface tension. So, that's the way to test yours.
I'm beginning to like this place. Third pan out of the middle, two more pieces. So if that were a bucket, I usually work on there's a three pans in a bucket. So six pieces a bucket. It's not bad for here. And this is another river with no report, reported gold. There is no gold in this river. I've just had three pans and six pieces of gold. But this, these two are tiny. Feel focus. Probably not going to focus, just down there. Yeah. Just there. Probably the water's not helping, but they are tiny, tiny. But like I've said before, this is just pretty much on a run. Hopefully there's some decent drops further up or further down and under them drops then there'll be a concentration, a good concentration usually. So guys, I'm just in the fourth pan. Again, two pieces, we'll look a bit further up. There's a red clay layer here, but this I think is the new secret river. Two people have just walked past, so I'm not going to hang about. I'm going to make that my last pan. I've confirmed what I need to know. and. Uh, That's a millimetre, there's another piece in there somewhere. That must snuff them up and go home. Because if there's millimetres in, I'm sure they'll be bigger. And there's a red, it's a red clay layer in here with uh, what gravels are mixed in. So I'm wondering if gold's in that. Could be very good down here. I know where it is next spring. This will be one of the places I'll be coming first with the sluice because as I said I'm getting two pieces in every pan, three pans and if there's some bigger stuff in here that might be interesting whether it dips down under that log I imagine I might do one more pan out of that yes I will so I did take one out of there it's just full of old leaves now, I bet if I got to bomb it leave the good gold that's the only pan I've took with no gold in it so I'm packing up. I'm quite happy. I'm, in fact, I'm very happy because I know potentially there's quite some good uh, gold in here for this area. Tip top. I'm going to walk down to the road now. Yeah, I think this will be a good little spot. Unfortunately, I got busted then. <laughs> I'm just doing. I'm just going to do another pan. And some people come and ask me what I was doing. They've just gone down there, <laughs> but as I say up there it probably would be as a way front road. Um, I were going to set my tarp up, but I'm not going to bother. It's just after four o'clock. I've been wandering out woods for three or four hours now, so but I'm well pleased with that. And as it gets further down, there's some no nice banks. That'll be all right there, I reckon. But up there, all the way across stream, there were gold too for every pan so can't complain at that don't know how wide it gets down here and where it crosses over might be more interesting I'm parked about I don't know I'm parked that way probably a quarter of a mile but I'm gonna walk down to the main road and walk up road because that's bushwhacking I'm gonna go climb up that I can't be bothered with that I've been busted now so it doesn't matter I'm not incognito So guys, that's the eight pieces that I've just picked up. Now, they're not very big. There's one or two that aren't bad. There's an half millimetre and there's a millimetre. Two half millimetres and a millimetre. So, that's good for there. And uh, considering I would just like doing pans, I've got a piece every pan apart from last pan, which were, which if I'd have gone deeper, I would have got gold. So, the new secret river.